What is going on everyone, Memory here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about Kill Lock Kill. This is going to be a review type video that's not going to be very long and I'm not going to go into full detail about every little thing that happens in Kill Lock Kill because I've said this in multiple videos in the past and I will continue saying it until the day I stop making reviews. But I guarantee most of you, not all of you, but most of you watching this video have watched Kill Lock Kill and you know how fucking epic and how amazing it is. So pretty much in this video I'm going to give my overall rating and some thoughts and I guarantee by now you can already tell what rating I'm going to give and what I did give this anime. But for those of you who don't know anything, about Kill la Kill you haven't watched it yet it's 25 episodes long both English dubbed and subbed and I'll have like a brief synopsis in the description so you can read that and kind of gauge whether or not you're interested in it or not you can listen to me as well you can do both I don't care what you do but right now I'm telling you if you call yourself an action anime fan and you haven't watched this yet you need to get to this as soon as possible like it'll literally bless your soul that's all I have to say about that right now getting into what I wanted to talk about first going into Kill la Kill, I didn't know anything about it. I noticed that a couple companies that are behind Kill la Kill are actually a few companies that are also behind Gurren Lagann. So right there, I was like, ding, 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 ding. I'm most likely going to enjoy the hell out of this shit, and look what happened. I did enjoy the hell out of Kill la Kill, and you guys know how I am about Gurren Lagann. That's my favorite anime of all time. It'll probably never change unless I finally watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and just totally blows me away, but I don't think Gurren Lagann will ever change as my number one anime of all time. And right off the bat with Kill la Kill, we see a bunch of similarities to Gurren Lagann. The ludicrous character designs, first off. Some people don't like the character designs in Gurren Lagann and Kill la Kill. I personally love them. They are so ludicrous. They are so far out there, so crazy, so unique that I just love them and think they are funny. I'd say they're more ludicrous in... Kill la Kill, but don't get me wrong, there are a bunch of weird looking characters in Gurren Lagann, but I'd say there's more weird looking and far out there characters in Kill la Kill, and I just love it. The second thing with both of these series, Gurren Lagann and Kill la Kill, the over the top action, which I stated at the beginning of this video, towards the beginning, or whenever I mentioned it, but over the top action, it was just, it was mind blowing, incredible, I loved it. Like, Gurren Lagann's probably. It's probably really close between like the anime I've saw with the most action, like the best action scenes. It's either Gurren Lagann or Kill la Kill. It's one of them. Like they're just incredible. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the characters. Honestly, and this may come as a surprise to some of you guys, I don't know, but my favorite character isn't actually Ryuko or Satsuki, the two main characters of Kill la Kill. Don't get me wrong, by any means, Ryuko and Satsuki are two badass, amazing, epic characters. I love both of them, especially when they fight together towards the end of the anime. Oh my god, was that incredible and was that amazing. But my favorite character is actually Gamagori. And that may come as a surprise to some of you guys, I don't know. And it may just be me, but I just loved Gamagori so much. More than Ryuko and Satsuki. Just the way he carries himself, how he's so vocal, how he's so passionate about protecting everyone. Like, at first, he wanted to just protect Satsuki and he was pretty much Satsuki's shield. And he was so loyal to her. But in the second half of the series, he pretty much vows to protect everyone and be everyone's shield. And he's so passionate about it and he's so vocal and he motivates everyone keeps everyone together i just love that about him and the scenes especially towards the end of the anime that he took action in they were so badass and they were so awesome and i loved gamagori and then we have some other characters like mako mako pretty much saved ryuko a couple times but she was pretty annoying at times but she was you know she was an all right character then we have the nudist beach characters which these two guys i don't remember their names off the top of my heads but they brought the comedy of this series they were awesome then we have the elite four which gamagori is a part of the Elite Four. The Elite Four was awesome. I loved all of them. The one character that I hated, though I absolutely despised, was that little girl named Nui, or however you pronounce her name. She had the eye patch, and she, her voice just made me want to slice my neck open. Like, her, she was so annoying. Like, I bet a lot of you guys can agree with that. She was really annoying. And then we have Satsuki's mom, which Satsuki's mom was like the main villain in the second half of the series. She made a good ass villain. Like she brought a sense of urgency, like I felt it, to the series. And she was a very good villain in my opinion. So that was the characters. The musical score, the music used in the fight scenes was awesome. The music used in the openings, the music used throughout all of this. So much similar to Gurren Lagann, how the music was used in that was totally fucking epic and awesome. Another thing which isn't really important, but I had I just have to bring this up. I wasn't expecting this to be as etchy as it was. Like, some of the scenes with Ryuko, Satsuki, and Mako, I was like, damn, like, these girls are fine as fuck. And I wasn't expecting it. Like, it totally blew me away. And you guys know how I am. I'm a huge etchy harem fan, and I don't mind it one bit. But it was awesome, I'd have to admit. And the last thing, before I wrap this up, 
Episodes 19, 20, and 21, I got hit with the biggest mind-blowing plot twist. Just what happens, I can't say, but it was crazy. If you guys haven't watched Kill la Kill, you need to. It will totally blow you away. The action, the characters, the plot twist. Like, the plot twist, I'm telling you, it was crazy. It was absolutely insane, and it just made me enjoy the series a hundred times more. Even though I didn't really like what happened with... Ryuko and Satsuki's uniform Junkets, but I can't really go into more detail with that, but Kill la Kill was awesome. You guys already know what I'm going to give this. A 1 out of 10. Psych. A 10 out of 10. Kill la Kill was fucking awesome. I highly, highly recommend it to any of you who have not watched it yet. Thank you all for watching this video so much. Let me know what you thought about Kill la Kill if you watched it. I'll see you guys. Peace out.